Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice exponential equation. We have 9 to the power x plus 3 to the power x and this is equal to 756. And we have to find the value of x. But before we begin, you know the deal already. Pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to write this 9 as 3 to the second power then all to the power this x, right? So we have x here. Then plus 3 to the power x, and this is equal to 7, 5, 6. From indices, if I have a to the power m, or to the power n, this is the same as a to the power n, or to the power m, right? So this whole thing could be written as 3 to the power x, or to the power 2, then plus, 3 to the power x. Now let's go ahead and then move this 7, 5, 6 to the left hand side of the equation. Okay, so we have negative 7, 5, 6 and this is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to let 3 to the power x equal to a certain variable. In my case, I will say m, right? So this equation becomes m to the second power plus m minus 7, 5, 6 and this is equal to 0. And now you can see we have a quadratic equation. So let's use factoring method to solve this. I'm going to find two values that if I multiply them, I'll be getting negative 7, 5, 6. But if I sum them up, I'll be getting positive 1, right? And the values are negative 27 and then 28, okay? So putting these values into the equation, we have m to the second power minus 27m plus 28m minus 756, and this is equal to 0. Now let's consider this one first. We can factor m out, right? So we have m into m minus 27. Then from here, 28 is common, so we can take it out. We have 28 out, then m minus 27, and this is equal to 0. So we have m minus 27 as one of the factors. Then we have m plus 28 as the other factor, and this is equal to 0. Right. Now from here, it is either m minus 27 is equal to 0, or m plus 28 is equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and then make m the subject in each case. So from this equation, we have m to be 27, right? Then from this equation, we have m to be negative 28. But don't forget that we let m equals 3 to the power x, right? So when m is equal to 27, we have 27 is equal to 3 to the power x. And this 27 could be written as 3 to the third power, and this is equal to 3 to the power x. Now you can see the bases are the same, so we can simply equate the exponent. So this implies that x is equal to 3, right? Now from here, when m is equal to negative 28, we have 3 to the power x equals negative 28. Now here is the deal. 3 to the power x over here is greater than 0, okay? So 3 to the power x is greater than 0. So for real solution, no matter what you do to this 3 to the power x, you'll not be getting negative, okay? So this equation cannot be solved. So our final answer turns out to be 3. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.